Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to troubleshoot engine codes. I've got one up there right there. I know, I already know what it is, but I'll let the tuner tell us what it actually is. This is my 2005 um, Mustang GT. It's the manual package. Uh, so it's a pretty, pretty nice little car. Uh, I've had this for a little while now, and the SCT actually came with it when I bought it because it was supposed to be tuned, but clearly it's not. So what you're going to want to do, obviously this doesn't have batteries it's not bluetooth it's nothing like that it's nothing fancy so what we're gonna do take this little cable this fat end or well i guess what you could call the fat end right here is gonna go in first like it's gonna plug in like that into the very bottom down here i know you can't really see what i'm doing because it's really dark i like to do this with the car running still so make sure it's really up there and your SCT, mine's the X4 model, should turn on. So we're gonna go into Program Vehicle, right? You have all these really cool options. You have gauges and data logs, really cool vehicle functions, vehicle info, device info, and device settings. And then it comes back up to the top. So you're gonna Vehicle Functions, right? You'll see Read DTC Codes. That is gonna read your engine codes or any other codes that might pop up. And then you have your special functions and then you have clear DTC codes, which I already know what it is, so I could do this, but I'm not going to. Go read DTC, it says turn key, ooh, I want to focus. Not sure why I won't focus. It says turn on the vehicle's ignition to the on position, push and hold, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. We already have the car on, so it's no big deal. We hit okay, reads codes, and yep, PO430, catalyst, I don't know why it's not focusing, there we go. Catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank two. No big deal, it just means that the O2 sensors are having a bit of a fit. So we're gonna go down to clear DTC codes. Hit that, clear DTC. And it should get rid of your engine light. Now if it comes back, obviously you should probably go see a shop. They can run a scanner through it. Might be a di uh, misfire. You're, uh, if you're not stock, <laughs> sorry, if you are a stock car, mine is not. If you do have a stock car, you might want to go see because you might have to get your O2 sensors replaced. So a little bit more on the X4. Oops. A little bit ugh, English. A little bit more on the SCT X4. We can go into program vehicle. Right, you can return the car to stock, which I really don't want to do, so I'm going to make sure I hit exit on that one. Because this is a supercharger, it's a Paxanovi um, 1200 SL, so it's running about 8 PSI with a full exhaust and supporting mods. So I really don't want to bring the car back to stock. So we can go back to gauges and data log, obviously again the car is already on, so we go to OK. Or continue, whatever it is, process the data, it takes a little bit of time and it'll probably pop up on screen here, like the percentage of what it's done. Yep. Scanning data log. Waiting for the data. Come on, come on. There we go. So as you guys can see, well, I don't know, it doesn't want to focus when I get close. Anyways, battery voltage. I just got the alternator replaced, so that's why it's actually holding pretty steady. These cars are known for blowing alternators. So if you guys have an 05 to 09 Mustang GT, beware, you might have to replace the alternator quite a few times. This one only has 108,000 kilometers. That's kilometers, not miles. Uh, on the car itself, so I've only had to do it once. The guy before me had to do it once before too. That has all your really cool stuff in here. You can go into like, uh, try and change my vehicle speed. There we go. Item, vehicle speed, it says kilometers and go to miles an hour if you really want to. I'm in the States right now, so I don't really, I obviously use my gauge, which another thing about the 05, the S197s, the first gens, these motors in the in the display here, they're really popular for being blown out. Uh, I already had to get mine replaced already. The dealership was uh, good enough to the point where they could dial back in my odometer to the exact setting of what I had had it before. So that's an aftermarket, well, I shouldn't say aftermarket, but that's my second gauge cluster on this car. Uh, so go down, which is really helpful if you have one of these because then you can go and you can turn on your speedometer and you can just mount it on one of the vents or whichever way you want to do it. Um, so we can go back, because I don't want to get rid of that yet. Uh, we can do vehicle speed, spark, analog, firewall, short term, fuel, RPM, pressure drop across injectors, mass airflow. Beware, this is not a um, AFR. This one does not, the X4 does not have an AFR. Um, that's air fuel ratio reading. 
Um, so you have all these other cool stuff that's really, you know, it's kind of cool to know. Orange Firewire, Red Firewire, all that kind of cool stuff. It's really good to know um, for your card. Just, it doesn't have AFRs. That's my only complaint about this one. Um, and sometimes the whole, the screen will get messed up. You'll set it one way, like I have it set it like this, but it's simply because I sometimes have it mounted right here, angling towards the driver like this. Um, but that's my only complaint about the X4s. Uh, it's a really good tuner, really good flash tuner, I should say, because you cannot tune from this. You need to get someone to send you a tune, you download it onto this, and then you can put it uh, onto the car. Anyways, guys, that's how to troubleshoot a engine code with an SCT X4 tuner on an 05 to 09 Mustang GT.